This is called The Widows of Verenda Van India. Tradition corrals the women together into a sacred city of shadows. Mornings, tired yet willful bodies enshroud themselves with linen bleached by forgetfulness. In the streets, they chant their uninflected songs, hearing how gently life had once been when their old hands let go of things gracefully. But they can't dare hazard a spare moment out that prayer because their day's allotment of rice depends upon it. It has been this way for centuries. Tossed out by their families for daring to live without a man who has already left the earth. Their kind know a heartbreak like no other. But today, one brisk finger pushed down against the scales that measure how things get done around here. Mm. And every breath now is rushed as the uncertain momentum of possibility finally enters this kingdom of sorrow. Tomorrow, the women will not consult the years past on how best to mourn. They will not sit in front and study all the distorted portraits they've collected over the years. Tomorrow they will dance and play holy. Now, in bowls across the city soak red pomegranate rinds with hibiscus and turmeric to be poured into water guns. They boil aromatic blueberries in iron pots overnight, or they grate mint leaves and beetroots that chill open air to be ground up into pure pigments, balled into Ziploc bags, or filled into half-inflated balloons. Tonight, they ignite a bonfire from their memories, and they let it consume all the sins their shunned hearts can submit. While they sleep, a rare, thrilling concept sweeps across their landscapes of simple restraint. <clears throat> Tomorrow, they will have red Sindor dust running in their hairlines as they applied it every morning of their married lives. It's only a simple smear of color, no more than a light fingerprint that said, I was once touched in such a way and it must be made permanent. One story of the god Krishna tells how he was so ashamed of his blue colored flesh, it changed when he was a baby from a poison attempt on his blessed life. But years later, his wife-to-be came to him naked and said, paint me any color you seem fit. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, <clears throat> 